this video is going to focus on the mass of an atom and where the mass of the atom comes from. So if we focus on the atom lithium then, what I'm drawing here is the actual makeup of the subatomic particles in the middle and then the electrons around the outside. If we think back to the ones we've got, we have electrons which are negative and have a mass of 0 or 1 divided by 2000. You have neutrons which are neutral and have a mass of 1. And you have protons which are positive and also have a mass of 1. All you need to do then is add all them together. So we have 3 electrons, 3 times 0 is 0. 4 neutrons, 4 times 1 is 1. And 3 protons, 3 times 1 is 1. Add all those together, you get 7. Which, as you can see from the actual atom, is the mass number. So that mass number is the number of protons and neutrons added up in the centre. So in summary then, if we have a look at the atom lithium, you have your mass number at the top, and that is the number of protons and the number of neutrons added together. Remembering that the electrons have a tiny mass of 1 divided by 387, which is effectively zero. So we have three protons and four neutrons, which gives us a combined mass of seven, which makes up the mass number. OK, let's have a look at an example question then. So the question here says the size of a nucleus is tiny compared to that of the whole atom. Most of the mass is found in the nucleus, and then it splits off into four sub-questions. So A, what is the mass of a proton? B, what is the mass of an electron? And C, what is the mass of a neutron? You've got one mark for each of those. And then D, an element has six protons, eight neutrons, and six electrons. What is the mass number of the atom? So pause the video, have a think, have a go at it, and then we'll see if you're writing them in. Okay, let's have a look then. So if we start off with what is the mass of a proton, that's just basically remembering that it's 1. The electron is either 1 divided by 1837 or 0. You'd have got the mark for either of those. The mass of a neutron is 1. And then here, for D, they've actually thrown in a little bit to try and confuse you. They've said you've got 6 electrons. Because we're saying the mass is effectively 0, you don't include that. So what you do is you take the protons, which is 6 times 1, and neutrons 8 times 1 and add them together, which is your first mark, which gives you 14. One mark for that, one mark for that. In most exams, just getting the correct answer would get you both marks. Okay, hopefully that has helped you with this area. If you are feeling confident with it, then move on to the review section. If not, go back and watch the video again. And the review question is, Boron has a mass number of 11 and an atomic number of 5. Use this to draw the atom and explain how you worked out the number of subatomic particles in the nucleus. Have a go at that and let me know if you need any help. That's the end of this video.